hello class 7 students welcome to this video in this video we will solve your chemistry chapter 2 question answers this is the part 3 of your chapter 2 exercises okay in the previous video we have done till number d so we will start with number e answer the following questions question number 1 is what is the formula of quick lime so quick lime means calcium oxide that is CaO, Ca for calcium and O for oxide. Okay. Number two, which arrow is used to indicate reversible change? So this arrow, the double-headed arrow, okay, is used to indicate reversible change. Number three, what is the color of flame when magnesium burns in air? Magnesium burns in air with dazzling white flame. At the beginning, the flame is orange red color, but after that, it burns with the dazzling white flame. Okay, number four, give two factors in which a change depends. Now, change depends upon many factors. Okay, from that many factors, temperature and physical state is two factors. Okay, number five. Name the reaction in which heat is absorbed. Now, we all know when heat is absorbed, it is endothermic reaction. In exothermic, heat, exothermic reaction, heat is given out. In endothermic, heat is absorbed. And the example of endothermic reaction is milk. Number six, define dissolution. It is a process in which one substance thoroughly mixes with another substance. Example, when we mix salt in water, it is an example of dissolution. Okay. How does rate of evaporation change when temperature is increased? This is question number 7. The rate of evaporation increases when temperature is increased. Okay. Okay. Number 8. Why is rusting referred as slow eating of metals? Now, rusting is a process in which metal oxide will form. Metal oxide is a powdery substance which gets deposited in the surface of the metal and which get lost with time so it leads to spoilage of metal and weakening of metal that's why it is referred as slow eating away of metal number nine which changes are referred to as undesirable change those changes which are harmful to us are known as undesirable change example here is spoilage of food another example is volcanic eruption landslide breaking of glass all these are example of undesirable change number 10 pulling of a rubber string is reversible change explain now when we pull a rubber string it changes its shape isn't it but when we release it it goes back to its original shape that's why it is a reversible change now number 11 differentiate between rusting and burning and burning and respiration so here is the comparison of rusting bur and burning. Okay, rusting is a slow process, burning is a fast. Rusting takes place at room temperature, burning takes place at higher temperature. Rusting takes place on metal surfaces, burning takes place on combustible substances. Combustible substances means those substances which can burn. Okay, so next is burning and respiration. Now, burning is a fast process, respiration is a slow process. Burning takes place at higher temperature respiration takes place at body temperature burning takes place for combustible substances respiration takes place in living organism living organism burning do not involve any enzyme whereas in respiration many enzymes are involved number 12 is what is evaporation how does water change to its vapor state now the process by which liquid changes into vapor is called evaporation okay so when we heat, supply the heat to a liquid it starts its molecule starts vibrating with higher kinetic energy okay which weakens the intermolecular force of attraction okay so when there is no mole uh, less molecular for intermolecular force of attraction the molecules of liquid leave the surface as vapor okay number 13 is differentiate between physical change and chemical change we all know that physical in physical change only physical form and physical properties will change but in chemical change both physical and chemical properties will change okay number two this uh, origin original substance does not lose lose its identity okay that means no new substances will form whereas in chemical change the original substances loses its 
chemical identity okay then number 3 no new substances are formed here in chemical change new substances are formed number 4 the change is temporary the physical change is temporary in many cases the original state is restored that means they are reversible whereas the chemical changes are permanent and irreversible okay the example of physical changes changing of water into ice okay chemical changes burning of paper now number f is select the odd one out giving the reason okay from number one burning of wood rusting of iron souring of milk and freezing of water freezing of water is the odd one because it is a physical change others are chemical change okay number two freezing of water magnetizing an iron nail breaking of chalk stick from this freezing of water is odd because it is a slow process it is a slow change compared to magnetizing an iron and breaking of chalk stick okay number three rusting burning combustion and melting from this melting is odd because it is a physical change others are chemical change okay thank you so much